Think about a time in the recent past where you have received knock your socks off service and you couldn't wait to tell your family and friends about that business where you had that great experience. Sad, but true. When I do my customer service workshops, I open up like that. But rarely do I get a story of someone giving, receiving knock your socks off service. If I asked for rotten service, do you think I'd get people say, yeah, I got bad service. Sad, isn't it? Why? Because every business tells us that the customer is their most important thing. They are going to provide great service. But are they doing it? No, they're not. When I was writing my book, the publishers are reading the chapter on wowing the customer. And they said to me, you can't talk about wowing the customer. Tom Peters wrote The Pursuit of Wow. Ken Blanchard wrote Raving Fans. And I said, well, my dad taught me about wowing the customer over 40 years ago. I was born in a rural area in Australia and my dad was a butcher. And in that rural area, we had three core resources. We had wheat, oats and wool. And every year we had a wow week for wheat, oats and wool. And at that wow week, we'd have parades and street parades and all that sort of thing. And my dad, during the wow week, he had a sign on his butcher shop, come in and be wowed, it's wow week, we're wowing our customers. And he did all crazy little things like he'd have a sign under the counter saying between 10 and 11, lamb chops are free. And if someone was in there between 10 and 11 and ordering their meat, they would say, oh, and I'd have three pounds of lamb chops. He'd pull the sign out and say, wow, lamb chops are free between 10 and 11 and have a bit of fun. And so much fun has gone out of business. So if you can find the wow factor in your business, that is the key to getting referrals. His business went like that because he was getting referrals from these people that became advocates. These customers became advocates for his business. Sit down with your team and get them to explore the wow factors. When I was about 13, I decided to put some of these principles in place. I had a paper round in Horsham and on cold, wet days, I used to take the paper and I'd put it up on the veranda. And in those days, quite often milk got delivered to the front gate as well. So I would take the milk and their paper and put it on the veranda. After all, I was cold and wet anyway, and it would save them the pain of having to go out in the rain to pick up their paper and milk. And then around the holiday season or at Christmas time, I gave them a card with their newspaper. And in that card, I thanked them for being my customer. And then... When the tips came in, because as paper boys, we started our rounds about 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the morning, and the tips used to get delivered to the news agent who would bring them out to the paper boys and paper girls. The other people doing the paper rounds said to me, wow, Ken, you get four or five times as many tips as us. When you leave here, we want your paper round. You've got the most generous customers. Wow, they didn't get it. They didn't know what I was doing to get those tips. So wow your customers. Think about the things that you can create, the wow factor, to make your customers go, wow, it is fantastic doing business with this company.